Patrick White was a man of faith, a faith that evolved constantly throughout his life. In his interview with Greg White, David Marr, Patrick White's biographer, discusses the role of religion in Patrick White's life. From this interview, we know that religion was central in Patrick White's life. David Marr believes that Patrick White lost his faith at some point, drifting away from Orthodox Christianity, he says. He also writes that at various times in his life, Patrick White explored many different faiths, Judaism, Jung, Confucian texts, Christian mysticism, all for some kind of key for discovering patterns in the world. We also know that White was a man who was constantly searching for the eternal meaning of faith. Karen Hansen describes him as Patrick White, an existential explorer in her article based on his life following his Nobel Award for Literature in 1973. Greg Clark queries Ma on what was important to White. He said that White described himself as a lapsed Anglican, an egotist, pantheist, occultist, existentialist, would-be though failed Christian Australian. However, Ma replies that the pursuit of purity was what was important to White. Further, it was a moral purity, purity of life, work and a purity of spirit, which he knew he didn't have. It is interesting to note that Ma describes White as a turbulent man who was filled with an enormous amount of anger, yet an enormous amount of love as well. These elements of White's personality no doubt acted as a catalyst in his quest for the meaning of life and faith. Clark also describes a moment in Patrick White's life which occurred one late rainy evening in December 1951. As White took out meals for his beloved dogs, he slipped and lay for many a time in the rain. White famously describes this moment as an epiphany that he experienced. Clark writes that the incident was for White a conversion-like experience, not a visitation, but a recognition that he had been pretending to himself that God um, did not exist. This mystery of unity was made all the more clearer for White after the incident in the garden. Ma describes White as a person who had a great belief in coincidences. He said that White seized on them as evidence of pattern, and whenever he seized on them, whenever he spoke of pattern, he was talking about some kind of God that explained the existence in which he was taking part. White was also a person who despised people who wasted their talent and didn't make the most of the gift they were given. Ma tells Clark that White saw this flaw in very Christian terms, a denial of what had been given to that person. Ma says that it would have been hard for White to believe in conventional Christian faith while at the same time believing that his relationship with Manoli Lascaris was the central act of grace. White would have seen the Christian bigotry in the church's view of homosexuality. Given that White believed in the concept of grace and that he viewed his relationship with Lascaris as the greatest act of faith in his entire existence, would have made things very difficult for White. However, White didn't define himself from his homosexuality. Ma says he lived by the don't ask, don't tell high society rules of the empire but that didn't solve the problem of candor with the public. Finally, Clark asks Ma if religion and theology were central to White's work. Ma says, Patrick White's fundamental questions of goodness, grace, creation, existence of a deity, and nature of spirituality were all integral towards his work. He describes these aspects as fundamental to all of Patrick White's work. Patrick White's beliefs evolved throughout his life. We have seen how Ma warns us not to make the mistake of systemising White's work. What he believed in 1956, he says, let alone in 1986, was very different. White's beliefs shifted as he inquired, as he read, as he experienced, as he doubted, as he loved and as he hated. His beliefs shifted greatly, but always in his work was the search for good. I believe that David Marr's final comment in the interview beautifully sums up Patrick White's beliefs. 
At the heart was a search for meaning in the world and the search for meaning conducted by an artist. Thank you.